Well, talk is cheap, even the right talk. So there comes a time when you have to walk the walk as well as talk the talk. And our next guest doing just that, having walked through eight pairs of shoes, walking till his feet have become numb over 3,500 miles to make the point that this government cannot continue spending what it doesn't have. 24-year-old filmmaker and Tea Party supporter Matthew Purdy, after just logging a full year in his quest to fight big government, joining us now from Irvine, California, to tell us about, along with his friend Brooks Blanton, who has joined him in his journey. Matt, good to see you. So, journey of a thousand miles, it begins with, a, begins with a first step. How did this all begin? Oh, wow. I just, I just got fed up with the spending. You know, I originally started out as a filmmaker, just trying to do the right thing, trying to inspire people to do positive action, take positive action in their lives. And I realized that the capitalist system helped people out more. The free market system helped people out more than a compromised capitalist or a socialistic system. And I want to get that message out, especially since the stimulus package was passed. I really felt a responsibility to really get that out there. And let people know what's going on, that the spending's way too much. It's putting people in danger. It's messing up our economy. It's inciting higher taxes, bigger debt, and more problems. Well, the good the thing about sector. walking, the great thing about walking everywhere is you get to talk to a lot of people. Uh, it's, it's one thing to fly over the country. It's another thing even to drive through the country. But when you walk through the country, you talk to folks. Did folks understand your message? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, more people agree with me than don't. Uh, I'd have to say about... Nine out of ten people I talk to go, oh, yeah, yeah, I know about that big government. Yep, I'm fed up with it. You know, and, and that's what the message I'm getting across most of the country. I'm actually even in front of the headquarters of CNN. Yes. Well, we, I was surrounded by tea partiers at the time, of course. But um, I think we had one protester protesting against our protest against CNN's overtly biased media. So that was pretty interesting. But even there. Brooks, how did you get hooked up in all this? Um, I actually met Matt for the first time in Austin, Texas at a film festival. And he had met my friends before, and that's how we found out about him. My sister just saw him walking down the road and gave me a call and said that uh, the guy that I had told her about was walking through Austin. So she gave my phone number and he gave me a call, and uh, I went and picked him up. And we stayed up at my brother's house talking about what was going on in politics and everything and within probably six seven hours I decided I was gonna join them so how long have you been on the walk with Matt um I started out in Fort Stockton in West Texas I'm not sure as of the exact date so it's been a while I, did you have to clear your down I mean you, you you need money to do this you know at least uh, <laughs> at least for eating I mean how have you how have you put together the cash to to uh, subsidize all this and that's the amazing part. When I first started this walk, I had $200 to my name. I was prepared to eat insects and hunt animals in order to survive and get across the country. I was willing to do whatever it took. Yet the first day, I had about $71 in donations given to me, which is the most amazing thing. I, I didn't even ask for any of it. And so since then, that trend has continued, even in some of the most liberal of areas. I mean, all of Long Island, New York was extremely generous to me. I never asked for anything. These people, they take me to their houses, they feed us, they give us new clothes when they get torn up. It's amazing how generous this country is. Both, just, just everyone. It's just unbelievable. Where, where, by the way, have you been sleeping? You said people uh, put you up at night. Is that how you've been sleeping or do you have to sleep by the side of the road or what? It depends on where we are <laughs> and when. Uh, very often, we've done it all. Um, we've slept over people's houses, and then they'd bring us back to wherever we left off from. I've camped out probably about 50 or 60 times. Uh, I've done pretty much, let's see, hmm. there was one time where I slept underneath a bridge. I slept on the side of the freeway a few times. Okay. It's pretty bad. Sometimes you can't even set up a tent. So. All right. Listen, we got to go, guys, but what now? What now? <laughs> now? This coming July 4th, we're going to hit up the coast of Santa Monica, California, and stick the American flag right into the heart of liberal America. And so if people want to track our progress, they can go to purdy.com. That's P-E-R-D-I-E.com. Purdy.com. Matthew Purdy, That's Brooks right. Blanton, congratulations for making the trip. That's a long way to walk for a cause. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks it, for guys. Having us.
Best of luck Take to you. We'll be, we'll be in touch. Coming up on deck. So now we know Americans are less than thrilled with Uncle Sam. The real question is what Uncle Sam is going to think of Courtney Friel after she power ranks the five worst government services. That's coming next. And time is running out to vote today's declaration, dumping all professional politicians. Is that a buy, sell, or all 369-249?